In our earlier years as young children, we were probably heard singing roughly the same time we started speaking. However, some children develop these musical abilities faster than others. Mariah Carey was one of these children. When she had not yet reached three years old, she was caught mimicking her mother, who was an opera singer, even in the Italian that she was rehearsing. Her mother knew that she would become someone special, but not even she knew the heights to which Mariah would soar. And that's what I would like to talk about today, Mariah Carey. Today we will explore her, how she got famous, her unique voice, and her legacy. I've listened to Mariah Carey for over six years now, so I'm pretty familiar with her history and things like that. However, my goal today is to explain to you some things that not everyone would know so that you can become more familiar. So, it was apparent, even in her early age, that she would become a star, but it didn't happen overnight. Let's discuss how she first got into the music industry. In the late 1980s, she began singing background vocals for recording artist Brenda K. Starr. She stated in early interviews that when she was not with Brenda, she was recording a demo tape of her own in an obscure barn, or in, in an obscure studio in a barn. Starr then passed the tape onto Columbia Records executive producer Tommy Mottola. He was stunned by the voice and decided to sign her. As a result of this, her first album was released and her hit single, Vision of Love, became famous and the voice stunned not only Tommy Mottola, but listeners around the world. The voice that stunned them was not the standard singing voice. Mariah possesses a voice that no other singer has compared to. Her voice is unique in more ways than one. She often touches her finger whenever she hits a really high note. She stated many times that she has a five octave vocal range with the ability to sing as low as a bass and higher than any soprano. According to an article from The Telegraph, she has nodules on her vocal cords, which normally disable the voice or cause it to diminish. However, she uses them to her advantage. She has stated that she learned to sing through her vocal cords, using a different part of them that not many people use, the very top. Due to heavy touring and lack of rest, Mariah's voice has aged and now her voice thrives in its lower <coughs> register. However, the high notes are still as present and beautiful as ever, they just sound a bit more mature. As a result of this incomparable voice, she has become a living legend with a legacy that will last forever. She is noted as one of the most impactful artists of all time. According to the Recording Industry Association of America, Mariah has sold an astounding 239 million albums over 28 years that have impacted listeners internationally, including her third album, Music Box, which sold over 32 million albums and has become one of the top selling of all time. Not only has she achieved statistical feats, she has also made legendary musical contributions as well. According to an article from The Fader, she is credited with introducing rap and R&B into popular culture. With her release of Fantasy Remix featuring rapper ODB in 1995, the concept of featuring a rapper in a pop song was introduced and well received. So if you're listening to the radio and you hear that song with Cardi B in it, you can thank Mariah, because before her, it probably wouldn't have happened. Without someone like her to jumpstart the trend, it would, never would have taken off. Not only this, she has inspired countless singers today, including Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Rihanna, and many more, many of whom use similar vocal techniques to Mariah, an obvious sign of influence. In addition to inspiring many artists, she has achieved world records. On the Butterfly World Tour in 1998, Mariah sold over 200,000 tickets in under one hour, the fastest sellout in Japanese history. Since one concert did not accommodate all her fans, she had to add three more in order to fit all of them and as a result, she sold over 200,000 tickets. Definitely a living legend. So today, we learned about Mariah Carey. We explored her discovery, her unique voice, and her incomparable legacy. If you don't like Mariah Carey, I sincerely apologize. Her new album is being released November 16th, and she is bound to be heard frequently. Not only that, Christmas is just around the corner, and her hit single, All I Want For Christmas Is You, will be heard everywhere. In the mall, on the radio, even from random strangers, it'll be crazy once again. Thank you.